Let me get the cruise control set here. All right. Well, you're going down the road. You turn the wheel to the right. Turn the wheel to the left. You want two things to happen. First and foremost, you want the wheels to turn. Second, it would be nice if they would do it easily. Welcome to this AMS oil tech tip. It's all about the power steering pump. Have one right here on our cutaway. You can see it. What's going on? Well, you got a low pressure side coming in here and then you're developing high pressure. How are you doing it? Well, right in here inside the pump as it spins around. This is an engine driven pump. Now you can have several types right here on the first one down there. You have a rack and pinion. So you have a power steering pump going down to a rack and pinion. Old school cars, well, they used to use a gearbox like that, but you still had a power steering pump going down to it. You know, new cars, they have electric power steering pumps. You don't even have a steering pump anymore. But there's a few things you have to keep in mind if you do have a power steering pump. First of all, you could have a roller, a vane, a slipper type pump. There's all different types, but there's tight clearances inside that pump to make the massive amount of pressure. Now to test it, well, that's pretty simple. You can get your gauge and you can go in line with the power steering pump on the high pressure side. Make sure it's a high pressure gauge. Crank up the vehicle, you see you got about 800 PSI there, that's a lot. But what you want to do is turn the wheel to the right or to the left. That'll generate that maximum pressure from stop to stop. Maximum pressure, you see it here on the gauge, it's going to jump up, it's going to skyrocket. 1400, you can develop about 1600 PSI. You can also deadhead the pump by closing it. You want to make that pressure, and that pressure has to be right, Len, but the fluid takes a beating in there as well. It does. Uh, the fluid, and the thing of it is, is that you can't, you can't cheat and have a really heavy fluid in there because heavy viscosity a lot of times provides you with that cushion and it'll help the protection. But in this case, you can't do it. The pump has to be fast, you know, thin fluid is what you want here because you need your steering to be responsive. So what happens is the tendency for wear inside that pump becomes pretty great. So you really have to watch it and make sure that you're using all, all the good stuff in the power steering fluid to keep wear from occurring. Yeah, and that's what's happened. And this is a centrifugal pump called a vein pump. It's flinging around and centrifugal force is sending these veins out and these veins are running on this outside chamber. You can see some wear in there, right, Len? Right, yeah, it's a, it's a metal on metal surface. The only thing providing the protection is the oil, that's it. So if it fails, the pump fails real quick. And fluid is important, and so is adding a filter. If you have any kind of failure, let's say that rack and pinion or that gearbox blows into pieces, or your pump, you're setting metal around there, so it's a good idea to flush your fluid. Hey, this is a maintenance item as well. People should go in there and flush their fluid once in a while, right? Yeah, you should. I mean, it is a maintenance item. Follow your recommended intervals for that, but yeah, it's a good idea. Having steering is a must, but having power steering, well, that's even better. Make sure all aspects of your vehicle are operating at their best. And you can do that by going to amsoil.com.